I walked outside today and immediately found these two mushrooms and thought they were perfect examples of spore colors and how you can use it with the microscope. First things first, I separated the caps from the stems and placed them on a microscope slide with some water on them to increase the humidity and cover them. I let them sit overnight and the next morning both fungi gave great spore prints, probably even too much. I knew that the dark spored mushroom was an agaricus, the genus that your store-bought portobellos are from, also known as the field caps, but I wasn't sure about the white one. I was thinking about something in Leuco agaricus, which is in the same family but is much more confusing. The two mushrooms are similar in that they are saprobic, decomposing decaying matter and that their gills are free, meaning that they're not touching the stem, but outside of that, I wasn't too sure what they were species-wise. I also found some other mushrooms in between, which I'll cover in another video. Let's dive into the microscopy. You can see where the spores congregated the most and the pattern of the gills. For each of these, we will start at 40 times magnification and make our way to 400 times. You can see the dark color of the spores translate to the microscope, which isn't always the case. I love when there are this many spores, it makes my job that much easier. Follow to see more of the A to Z process of mycology. 